So in this first video, I'm going to be introducing you to the concept of acids and bases. And we're going to start that by talking about water. So if you have a glass of water, um, that glass of water is actually composed of water molecules, which of course are an oxygen atom covalently bound to two hydrogen atoms uh, by means of polar covalent bonds. But water also can dissociate into hydroxide ions and these hydrogens that are also known as protons. Now, this is one of the ways that you'll see this represented. The other way it can be represented is where two water molecules actually dissociate, give you This, again, is hydroxide, and this here is called hydronium. Hydronium represents that proton. Now, in water, typically what happens is a water molecule can dissociate and then reassociate to give you water again. So it dissociates into this hydroxide ion and proton. That proton and that hydroxide ion can again reassociate to give you a water molecule. Or in this case, the hydroxide and the hydronium can reassociate and again give you those two water molecules. Acids and bases alter the relative concentrations of either the proton or the hydroxide ion. And in doing that, what it causes is a scenario where we no longer can just have pure water, okay, in the sense of an equal concentration of protons to an equal concentration of hydroxide ions. So if we add an acid or we add a base, we're going to change the relative concentration of one of these two components. And in doing that, we're going to alter what's known as either the pH or the pOH. We will specifically be focusing on the pH here. So an acid in this particular context is going to be defined as any substance that increases the proton concentration. And the one that we'll look at today in this lab is known as hydrochloric acid. Okay, so when we add hydrochloric acid to water, it increases this proton concentration. And in doing so, what we'll see happen is it's going to actively lower the pH. And the other component is a base. And a base is any substance that has the capacity to lower the proton concentration. Bases can also be defined as substances that increase the hydroxide ion concentration. And so we're going to be looking at acids and bases and in regards to acids and bases, and the base that we're looking at in this particular exercise, I should note, is sodium hydroxide. In addition to looking at acids and bases, we also want to look at the scale that's used to measure the relative proton concentration compared to that of the hydroxide ion concentration. That scale, of course, is referred to as the pH scale. So when we're looking at the pH scale, we're attempting to determine if a particular solution can be classified as acidic, as neutral, or as basic. Okay. If a solution is classified as acidic, it should have a pH that is less than 7. 
Typically, that is also defined as being from 0 to 6.99. If a solution is neutral, then its pH should be roughly equivalent to 7. And if a solution is basic, or classified as basic, then its pH should be greater than 7. Typically viewed as 7.01 up to 14. Okay? So this pH scale goes from 0 to 14. And these are the criteria that can classify or be used to classify solutions as either acidic, neutral, or basic. Now, what does this mean in terms of proton concentration? Well, as something becomes more acidic, that is, as it gets a lower pH, you're going to see an increase in proton concentration. So, any solutions classified as acids that we add to something are going to increase that proton concentration, thereby decreasing the pH. If something is basic, it in theory should then decrease that proton concentration. So as we add a base to a solution, we expect to see the proton concentration decrease and the pH increase. You know, what is this saying in terms of the relative hydroxide ion to proton concentrations in these solutions? Well, any solution that's defined as being acidic should have a proton concentration that is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration. Any pH that's defined as a pH of 7 or neutral should have a relatively equal concentration of those ions, like we saw in that water initially. While in a basic scenario, we expect the proton ion concentration to be less than that of the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay. These braces simply denote that this is the concentration of that particular component.